All right, welcome back to uh, Dave the Diver. Now, in this part, I don't really remember what, what the last did. Like, I think we just unlocked the fish farm. Oh yeah, we just unlocked the fish farm. I spent all my money on upgrades because yes. Um, but you know, I should be able to go deeper now. I have a lot more air to mess around with. Like, you know, I've got I catch Cleones. Now, I'm not sure. Still, both these events take you back to the boat. Hmm. We'll have to see. Like, right. anyone's guess. Right, before I go, I need to check A, the weapon shop, because, um,. Right, so I need, still need Amethyst Ore. I still need those giant Trevali Vians. I need one more Cuttlefish Skin Fragment for that. As for this, yeah, I got that. Now I need the Brittle Starfish. And I'm still after Root. Okay. Oh, and also I need to check the Eco Watcher. So I'm after Starfish of all kinds. <laughs> Uh, I'm after two more pink shells, the seaweed whenever that actually shows up, because, well, it hasn't shown up yet. I need more fossils, specifically skulls, and also one leg bone. Removing the jellyfish will be good. Uh, and I need to remove invasive fish over there. Right, got it. So, yes. So starfish is really the main thing. So I'm done on shells for now, apart from the pink shells, which, so. Yes, these diving gloves should be able to pick up sea urchins. Sea urchin sushi, just a thought it makes me drool. There's nothing ready over that side. Oh, a loggerhead turtle. A picture of a turtle is a must-have sea picture. Well, let's take a pitch. Pit there. I agree. Sure. Oh, yeah, I can start collecting seahorses. Oh, yeah. That's a... That's a thing. I won't have problems with bay, I reckon. Like, well, actually, I don't reckon I will. But, but in fact, I will be, uh, you know, trying to do a, the maximum with that as well. I kind of has like Suwon in the bottom corner there, like all the way down in depths. Really trying to get fragments here, so I'm just going to keep stacking the fragments. Not sure how valuable sea urchin is, but we'll discard it later if we need to. Ooh, puffer fish.
in some builds of the game, there used to be two of them around here somewhere, like one sort of like up here. I miss those times. Hello? There we go. I mean, yeah, this is a good item, like, you know, I could really use that, but at the same time... I'm all about the fragments at the moment. Oh, squeaky mallet, yes, that's what we need for now. Squeaky mallet is bless. It's interesting because sea urchins only are really on this surface area, so like in the shallows. Which come to think of it, yeah, I mean it makes sense. This is slightly higher tier fish, because you only get in the depths, or you only unlock the ability to get in the depths, so. interested to see what that comes out as but the problem the thing is I doubt it's going to be useful in the sense that really if you want to make the big money you got to be selling like the pre-made meals you can't just be selling the basic sushi like admittedly yes some basic sushi is uh, has had been buffed since like the original release like quite literally, like the, you know, they buffed sailfish, they buffed quite a lot of stuff. But overall, still not really worth compared to what you can be getting. Like right now, I'm trying to get the starfish for the eco watcher. Which is a real pain, because, well, the Eco Watcher missions are pretty difficult. Well, not difficult, but they're just grindy. Like, you know, you just have lots and lots of the same objective. Like, it's just like, get this, now get this again, now get this for the third time, and it's like, okay, you've got some of it, now get even more of it, and it's like, uh, do I have to? And I'm like, yes. We also catch some shrimp because the shrimp can be good, I think. I need to keep an eye out on seahorses and whatnot as well because I know there's lots of different seahorses. Now, uh, really, at some point, I should work on actually capturing all the different kinds of fish because basically, there is a good boss that does literally require you to have all other Marinka cards for it to appear. Which, I mean, it would be nice to fight in this playthrough, but I don't think that that's going to be necessarily something that will 100% happen because, like, the amount of, um, Just being honest, the amount of times I'd have to visit like rubies to try mining like the ruby sea dragon, I remember hating trying to get that on my main save. Like it was literally just it was frustratingly bad. 
sort of being like, you know, I've visited the only game of Ruby that is actually available on the map every single day, both dives, you know, mine it, and it still took like 20 dives to get. Like, it wasn't just a case of, oh, just go there, you can get the Ruby Sea Dragon. It was like, go there, you have like maybe a 5% chance, if that, of getting like the Ruby Sea Dragon. It's like, well. I kind of was hoping for a bit more of a chance, and it's like, nope. Just starts playing Vince McMahon's theme, like, no chance, that's what you got. It's like. Ah, oh, okay. Ooh! Yeah, I'm kind of being cheap and saving ammo here, but... Okay, that was, uh... How should I get this after I've knocked this fish out? Bet that worked out in the end. I mean, why would I have to save ammo? Because I could just pick up more, but... Especially considering there's some right here. You know, it's kind of a pointless exercise in that sense, but... I had it asleep in the first hit. I just messed it up. Oh, there's a seahorse up there. Next to those corals. Hedgehog seahorse. There's fossils down here. Hopefully it's a leg or a skull. Preferably a skull. It's a foot. Disappointment. Oh, there's another seahorse down here. Probably the same sort of kind. Yep, hedgehog seahorse. Sometimes you've got to tank a little bit of damage. Oh yeah, I think it's, I want to capture as many different kinds of seahorses as possible because the seahorse collection is just kind of an annoying one. There's a pink she shell there, I need that. Find one more of them, that would be great. Oh yeah, there's nothing up there. thinking, oh yeah, I need one of them. And immediately the next time, like, right after, like, uh, that night, it was just like, yeah, you needed that. And I'm like, oh, okay. Right. Time to deal with this annoying stuff again. You know what? Go for these first. The sooner I get the skin fragment, the sooner I can stop harassing these. two I, I took out. Skin fragments. All the others I took out since there, nothing. Right, 
Got both of them are weak. Get some rope over there. I should just use the hush dart on them because if you actually catch higher quality it also has more chance of giving the drops but it's just like uh no, that's a hassle i'm pretty sure that's a brown seashell that i'm looking at yeah brown looks kind of pinkish but probably not an orange starfish i want that Yeah, there's where I swam in through earlier, so... Yep. Soon I'll have to discard some fish. And or I use my box. Depends, so I don't really have anything that I want to keep in my box at the moment. Oh, I also want to cut down these. And open up this for disassembly. I wonder how much kelp I actually have by now. Like, I've collected a lot of kelp. I mean, I'm expecting it to be helpful, but... Also, I just saw, saw the saw shark go upward, so, you know, it's probably going to come back down at some point. I just gotta bully this fish until it drops. It will take a while though. Like. <laughs> then I have to match the space bar with all my might. You know, this is the part that I can understand if Sea Blue had a problem with, like where I'm literally just killing these fish for the sake of killing these fish, or not for the sake of it, but or just literally getting their fin. Like, and it's just such a wasteful, wasteful method. Quite literally, because my gun upgrades. You know, it's kind of, you kind of want to do your gun upgrades. You don't want to like sit there with uh, not as useful guns as you could be having. Yes, finally, I got like one of the actual items I needed. Could discard all but one cuttlefish. Discard all but one giant trevally. We'll keep the seahorses because, well, yes, some red starfish there, rope, skull, and pufferfish. Now, actually, I could tell tell you what. I know for a fact I want these pufferfish. And since he's way a killer, this it's, it's uh, easy enough to put in there. Oh yes, that's my box sorted. Well, this does lead down, which I don't want to quite go that direction yet. I still have like a bunch of stuff to 
look for on this level. So I'll be doing that. I should really get on to catching like those in a coral trout, but and to an extent those. Actually, yeah, I have unlocked the fish farm, so that's kind of a good time to start doing this. Time to think of it. I remember now. So, yeah, soon enough. All I need is two more of your fins, and it'll be I'll, I'll stop hunting your kind. This is ridiculous. I need a stronger harpoon, but at the same time, I like kind of like having a weak harpoon at this stage. Because I can, like, if I get the tranquilizer harpoon, I can like really trank the jellyfish. Let's see, nah, we didn't get any special sauce. Right. kind of remind myself that I actually do want to um, capture sp specific fish. Like this one. And these lot back here. Squeaky hammer for the win. You know what? If I just do that... Exactly the same with that, I can just grab that ammo down there. No fuss. Yeah, because I actually want those for the row. Right, now that I actually have the fish farm unlocked, I should actually start farming the fish farm. Might like, that be um, kind of helpful, would it not? Uh, give me your fin. All be over. And of course, there's still the starfish hunt that I'm doing. Also, I find another pink shell. I need to find one of them. Yeah, because the, st the first part, you know, I managed to get three days done. Second part, I managed to get two days done. Every part since then, it's literally been like one day. And it's because my dice is just so long at this point, like... So I'm literally just trying to maximize everything. Like, you know, I'm trying to get these... I'm trying to get like... I'm trying to get my gun parts, I'm trying to get my eco watcher stuff done. I'm trying to do all the missions. Like, it becomes quite a... It becomes quite a lot. Like, it's quite a lot of stuff that you can actually do on each die. Um, 
Oh, we got a fin, I think. Nice, nice. That's what we're looking for. So now we need one more of their fins and one more of the cuttlefish skin. Okay, that... I mean, I do like the sharp Japanese samurai sword, but... The issue is... Uh, this sleep hammer is just so powerful that it's like... it's I, I, I can't... I can't justify swapping it out. Oh, there's a pink shell there. I need to do skin fragments. No skin fragment. What a pain. I'm pretty sure down here there's a shark. Yeah. Right, now the shark's out of the way for a while. Except some cuttlefish on the left and this guy on the right here, so... There's a lot to be done. I think there's going to be a ton of row that I get for this thing. And probably the cuttlefish. I probably won't get much row for the fish I actually want to farm. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, is that enough fin? It is. Yes, I don't have to go after those fish anymore. so much about that anymore. Oh, that's one of these. Seahorse, nice, nice. Now, where's those cuttlefish? What I think about cuttlefish is like having their row is hit and miss because, like, uh, I could use them eventually, I think.
but it's only a bit of later on area when I'm in the glacial passage that it's really got use, so it's not like I can use them straight straight away. Come on, just be a good sport. Like, because basically, I do also I do have the employee that I need for that, like Lou. Because if you level up Lou to level fifteen, which is quite a lot though, but so you kind of need to get more into the mid, like mid and late game to do that. But if you can level them up to level fifteen. You can actually, uh. Yeah, you can actually use his free colored squid roast. And the cuttlefish is actually part of the free colored squid roast. What is shot? Go away. There's some more clown frog fish over there. Boom. They're nice and light as well. If I can unlock Billy, that would be great. If I get Billy on my hiring list, that'd be great. Like, you know, that's what I need. Oh, there's gonna be four fragments. I'll take this pink seashell because we might need it later. You know what it's like. Try the knockout method on these. Right, let's see. So I got the skin fragment I need as well, so that's actually good. I don't know why I went down instead of, like, up instead of down, but whatever. Right, so, we we'll discard the two-star cuttlefish. And we'll also discard one of these. Alright, so we've got pretty much all we wanted from this middle area. A few more of those, like coral fish, couldn't hurt, but at this point. I can't say I, I really care for them.
Yeah, but oh, okay. okay the other saw sh shark, yeah, saw sh saw shark got stuck up there in the top left. If you try to saw, right. I need to head to the depths. Where a, I need a purple starfish, and b, there's some invasive fish to remove. Yeah, here's the purple starfish. Catch one of these for completeness sake. Okay, we also need to catch these clear ones. You know what? Just do that. We also need that amethyst, yes, I remember that now. We don't really need these corpses of like the stargaze or anything like that. So I gotta work out really what I want to get rid of. Okay, let's be real, I really don't actually care about the giant Trevally. I just don't. I was only hunting it for its fins. Okay, we'll get rid of the fang tooth, because again, I don't really care about that. Uh, blue slotted stargate, so definitely, cause especially considering it's dead. I'm pretty sure this is the only amethyst spot there is. But not having a pickaxe on me means that more pickaxes will spawn, so I should probably take this pickaxe with me regardless. It's a similar principle with a flashlight, where the UV light, where if you don't have one, it'll spawn a bunch in the boxes. Like it does check to see what you do and don't have. Alright, so we'll get rid of that other blue spotted stargazer. It would be nice to capture that red bream, but... Oh, no. We'll do it, we'll do it. It's actually doing you start collecting these as well, come to think, but yeah. I just need to look around for one more. Just now, did I see a huge Cleo? Yes. Salvatore Cleone. What I think I'll do is I'll think I'll partial progress with this main quest. And then catch the next Cleo. It's really hard to figure out an order here. I already got the purple starfish I needed, I'm pretty sure. So, I'm not so worried about that. Oh yeah, I need brittle starfish for my weapon upgrade. So I should keep an eye out. I prefer having um, spare oxygen on me than having a scooter, so... We're doing that. Ooh. 
Hmm. And a pile of rocks is moving around. So that's octopus again. Ooh. I saw octopus last time. It's spraying ink again. Why don't you get away from me this time? Just wait. So I suppose we're opening the shortcut this time. Create the path for clear, just you wait, Octopus. Mm. Hey, how dare you spray ink twice? I won't let you get away with it. Ask Banjo for Takoyaki. Again, it's definitely quick. Hmm, it drops like again. Hmm, it always leaves something behind me. It might be able to not be as bad as I thought. Seems to be a lot of fact I'll have to try identifying it back on the surface. Seahorse is actually good, so. That's a brutal starfish. Oh, you're back, human. I was afraid you'd been eaten by a frilled shark on the way off back. She talks like someone I know. I think I'll be able to pull out the steak if I use diving gloves from Dr. Bacon, who lives on land. Bacon, here. In our language, that name sounds like spoiled whale meat. Uh, okay. Wait a moment. Let me try that. Let me try and pull. Alright. It was effective, but not enough. Hmm. I think maybe one more attempt might cut it. Human, there's another rock pile over there. Hmm. There's no more device over there. I'll have to go check it out first. Check out the rock pile. Hmm. There's nothing that can be done on this side. I'll have to try going around the back. Now a lot of people on this bit get stuck uh, and get confused, but you literally just have to go around this way. Somehow I didn't get stunned, that's good. A second brittle starfish, yep, I'm gonna need a bunch of them. There's a shortcut through there, but there's also a. Uh, pretty sure there's some blood belly comb jelly up there, so. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Mine the opal? Actually, I'm gonna mine the opal. 
You never know when you need like these gems. So I'm pretty sure you do need them a little bit later on as well. Like there's more quests that require them. So it's always good to have them. Oh, the stick is uh, back. If I pull it out. Good, we have a pair. The more useful than you look. The village is very close. Come through the hole we made. I'll go ahead. Wait, I can't leave. I can leave now, can't I? Are you listening to yourself? Aren't you worried about Ramo? Besides, I have a quest for you, so I'd like to come to the village with us. The Seed Village? Me? Yes, that's the reason I came all the way up to the human seat. I have a request. Uh, okay. Yeah, I want to go back up and collect last um, Cleone first, because I know the access road. Well, too bad. As I say, I, I played through this game before, so I know both these quests have a boss, and um, because of that, I, I, I want to do the side boss. If that makes me go back to the surface. Yeah, I don't know. It's very hard to get it organized. So I don't know if like one of these will end like my dive. Or if both of these end my dive. If they both end my dive, then um, yeah, there's nothing I can really do. I think there's actually Amethyst down this way, now that I remember. I think. But this is also going to be where the final Cleon is, but... Like, it's going to be upwards. Oh no, it's Opal over here as well, okay. Or we'll mine it anyway. I know we're going to need Opal later. Poison Hartoon, Poon Tip 3. That's the other thing, I don't want to be overweighted when fighting the boss as well, so... What can I discard? Don't tell me that literally everything I have is useful. I guess the most useless thing I have is a cuttlefish at the moment. Oh, and the common cat food, but... Uh, and maybe that chambered Nautilus, but... And also some of the shrimp, but... Overall, I'm pretty chock full of um, items I won. Oh, there's a fossil there. Hopefully a good one. Okay, that's the leg bones done. I just need skulls. I don't want to sail through to swim through the jellyfish area. Oh, please be a way up here. Yes. Oh, there's the amethyst. Oh, is that a giant oarfish? If I take a picture with blue plankton next to it, I can make a pretty nice picture. Sure, we'll go for that. I think the blue plankton spawns around here. It's very tough to actually... When I first did this, I have no idea what the blue plankton was, but it's actually this stuff over here. Yeah, that's the blue plankton. Okay, so there is amethyst here. We will take that because we're going to need that for our weapon upgrade. Oh, and a starfish. Also a pink shell, but... 
not necessarily needing the pink shell, but I'll take it because they're kind of like an annoying to find. But where's the last Cleo? Another crown seahorse. Yeah, seahorses spawn in specific structures. Like, crown seahorses are normally in amongst tube worms. Um, you're all gone. Should I get back up now? Here we are. Oh, what is this place? Oh no, that's such a big Leo. Uh, I probably won't get away from this start fight. Whatever, let's defeat it first. Right, first things first, I'm gonna need an actual weapon. Well, not need, but I want an actual weapon. Ouch. Next thing's next, I'm gonna want that oxygen down there. Big time. Right, now we can get to the fight. I missed. I don't have ammo? Okay, yeah, I need to get the ammo then. This thing's aggressive. Phew, <sighs> what a monster. It still stings. Let me see if there's anything useful to pick up. An ingredient and like a poison sack, probably. Hmm. I see something shiny over there. I should go have a look. Frame of digital photo frame of Mackie's face. A photo of Mackie. I have to take it back up. Yeah, because this does take you back to the surface straight away. No, it doesn't. Okay, cool. So now. Again, I need to find something to discard. Probably that chambered Nautilus. Right, yeah, so basically now, if I can find some ammo on the way, that'd be great. So I have to do two boss fights. Which is pretty wild when you think about it. Like the double boss, you don't see that often. Right, he's finished one boss fight and now he's going straight in for another. Huh. This is piqued by curiosity. Has it refreshed the area and it drops? That shark spawned in when it was, um. It wasn't there earlier because of the octopus quest. Ah, oh, no, this brittle starfish isn't there, so should be fine. Oh, I should also look for an extra oxygen bag here.
Okay, so I found the ammo. Yep, that's what I want. And I should look for... I think across the way here, there's going to be an oxygen tank that I can take. No? Okay. No, I don't need my UV light, so... Okay, yeah, I just thought there was a shell around here that I could, like, take and breathe in, but... We'll go, we'll go in. We'll go in all serious. Hello, I just have to defeat a giant Cleo. I'm getting really spooky vibes. Something just moved past me. Human, go ahead and be on lookout. But it's so dark, I feel like there might be something dangerous there. Ugh. Inspect village access road. You sense a dangerous creature's presence. Enter. Once entering, an event will proceed that will end with you returning to the boat. Okay. What is this place? Why are there debris this like this so deep? <clears throat> Here it is. Oh no, those vibrations again. Something has to be here. Why did he tell me to come alone? Wolfiel. What is there? There are wolf eels that big? Ugh, I don't think I can run. Oh, whatever. Let's see if I can get like a upgrade kit. Oh, that's a sniper rifle, okay. I remember this now. Oh, that's really tough, huh? There's a shiny spot of tail. It looks like the weakest part of his body. Oh, I see why they dropped the sniper rifle now. Use this first. Does that attack, that attack, and it does uh, coming in from the side of the screen. Which is pretty hard to dodge. But. I'll use my underwater scooter to get close to it to do that. Yeah, maybe even rapid fire a few shots in. His chin, but you know, it didn't seem to be as damaging as the Cleon Queen, so. Alright, we're gonna want. Uh, actually, no, I, I don't need that oxygen yet. It's gonna come in from the back.
drop some ammo. I can just go underneath like that. Oh, you only need one more shot anyway. Easy enough. That was much easier than the Cleo and Queen. I don't know what to say. Ugh. How could a war field be so big? Ahem. I was just about to come and defeat it. I guess I came too late. Ah, you're stronger than I expected, human. Now you see that big gate over there? There's an entrance to the village. Take the lead, human. Well, first of all, we need to check the wall field. Wolf eel tail meat. Wolf eel gill. And we just have to be overweight from this point on because, um, yeah. Might as well use the rest of the scooter because we're not going to need it inside the village. Oh. Phew, we're finally back to the village entrance passageway. Ramo, you have the key, right? Oh no, I left the key back at the... Ah, I was just kidding. Yeah, I have it in my bag. Phew, I thought you would ask me to take you again. Let's insert the key and get back to the village. Village. Wow, so this is... Aha, that's right, this is the Sea People Village we live in. To think there would be a place like this under the sea. Wait, how did a human get in here? Uh, Raro, it's full on. Were you kidnapped by this human? Tenzin awaits you. He's lost sleep worrying about you. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain. Ah, allow me. I rescued Ramo after he was kidnapped by a squid. Forget it. Just take me with flower. It'll be fast to explain things to him. Oh my goodness, Ramo, my daughter. Where were you, my precious girl? Your daddy, your daddy was worried out of his wits. Are you hurt? Did the humans do something to you, my daughter? Wait, who is this next to you? I thought you brought a blue manatee, but this is a human. Dave. What is going on here? I'd like an explanation. You know, strange fi you know that strange things have been happening around here recently, right? For example, the Travis ice melting off the Divine Tree. Of course, Ramo, we're looking into the causes. It's already been two years. You know our technology has its limits. Well, the ancient techs ha have all been lost. We need to figure out new methods again. We simply can't keep waiting, Father. Humans are selfish, but they have good technology. We need their help. No, not the humans. They can't be trusted. They dirtied our home and even hunted our kind to put on display. They're wicked creatures looking to hunt us or steal from us. We cannot ally with the likes of... Another huge tremor. See, something really bad will happen if we don't do anything. Hmm. Oh, I was taken by the giant squid in human waters. Dave here helped me out. Swamp said he was the one that did that earlier. Try asking him. Not all humans can be bad, can they? I mean, well, even even if I wanted this, the villagers would not agree. Getting help from humans, everyone would find that hard to believe. If this man can gain the village's trust, I consider your suggestion. Hmm, the village's trust. How does one go about winning that? How about asking around to see what they need? Alright, since it's a long trip... Since today's long trip must have been pretty tiring. Human, come back to here to the village tomorrow. You have, you'll have to listen to the villager's request. Wait, I didn't even agree yet. How, how am I supposed to come all the way here? So you see, help my daughter Ramo. I suppose it would be fitting for my people to ignore your needs, even if you're a human. Use this. What is it? It looks like an ordinary mirror. 
This is a sea people barrel. Once it's sorted, it will let you instantly travel to this village. Wow, that's su is such a thing possible? The various tasks of call by our, our decline, but our ancestors were very advanced civilization ones. Right now, this is all we have left. A few. Oh. Right now, all we have left is a few of their relics, sadly. In any case, installing this in your village will allow you to come to this village whenever you need. It will recognize your face, so only you'll be able to use it. It also operates from the light of the divine tree or the sun, so you can only use it during the day. Oh, and I'll give you this village map to use, it will help you find the villagers. Hmm, teleportation device. That's pretty amazing. I have to go back to the boat with this mirror for now. Right, it's already night, so skip my like entire daytime dive, like my afternoon dive, which I guess is pretty lame, but whatever, fine. Let's see. So, have we got like yeah, we've got red, green row. So those are the row that we're mainly after. Starry puffer row is pretty good. Oh, you brought a picture of the site. Can I see? Oh, a loggerhead turtle. As a child, I dreamed of exploring the waters back on the back of a turtle. Of course, I drowned myself if I really tried that. I put your picture to good use. I'm sure the reader will love it. That's a giant oarfish. I heard fish are really referred to... I heard the fish was referred to as a god in ancient times. It's really huge. Amazing. I put your picture to good use. Oh, yeah, I'm sure the readers will love it. Yeah, okay. There are photo spots all over the place. Thank you for keep helping. Thanks for your help and keep up the good work. <laughs> yeah, we'll redispatch them. Applicant list. Again, we didn't we didn't find um no. Yes, install this sea people mirror on a boat. He said it could go to sea people village during the day. I should go. Oh no, it looks like I'm banishing Banjo Sushi must have opened already. I should drop by and check if anything note happened. Hmm. Mm. It looks like I arrived too late. Mm. I should do a little clean up. Oh, Mr. Yoshi, what are you doing here? Oh, my work ended just now, and I was passing by. I saw the light on, lights were on, despite the hour. Mm. Banjo seems to have gone already. Mm -hmm. He looked a bit tired recently. I wonder if I worried he. I'm worried he might fall ill. He, even so, I'm glad to see him work hard again like this. I come to think of it, I heard once, one, I heard he once gave up on cooking because of a certain incident. Yes, back then, I thought he was gone for good. I wonder what, what I wonder what it was about. <laughs> well, it's nothing that secretive. I simply avoid mentioning it with him present, just in case I say it's still a sort. Yeah, I can't speak today. I simply avoided mentioning it with him present, just in case it's still a sore spot for Bancho. Hmm. I'm thirsty. Can you first give me a glass of beer? See, now we're at an impasse, because I do not serve alcohol. Only my staff serve alcohol. So, I don't know what you want to do. I guess we're soft lot, guys. There's nothing we can do. The rub's the... Oh, I'm joking. I'll pour it. Since no one's around, I'll pour it. But only because no one witnesses this. Pour it so it's about 20% his foam. Bad, yeah. We start try again slowly. Ah, I see. Still, never pour in one of them. Fine. Nothing so refreshing as a glass of beer after work. Especially like to have a view of the sea at night, like this as I drink. Mm. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you a bit about Bancho and why he quit cooking for a while. It was 12 years ago. Visual novel time, let's go. This is the Dugon Hotel. I worked here 12 years ago. It's a five star hotel with both traditional and a long history. It's quite old, yes, but at the time, quality of food and service has been newly improved. Yoshi, do you have a moment? What is it, manager? 
Oh, a troublesome, a troublesome customer left a reservation. A troublesome customer? Do you, do you know the actress Lois Crawford? She made a reservation at our hotel. Alright, give me a second. I, I need to hydrate my throat. This is going to be a lot of reading. I'm already stuttering and messing up a bunch of the dialogue anyway, so... I need to go full focus. Lois Crawford. Hotel. Our Dugong Hotel is a luxury hotel with many years of history and tradition. In the past, we have nobles staying in our accommodation, and so and many notable films were shot here. Many people seeking that sort of old era nostalgia used our services, and we have very high standards for the services we provide. The manager had to spend his entire life at the hotel. It was like he was a living embodiment of its history. He had a lot of knowledge about the etiquette used by the upper class of each country, and he was very used to servicing those of high rank. Many VIPs sought his services. Lois Crawford, she was a leading actress with a long career. Her role in a spy a role there. Yeah, her role as a spy in one of her most famous works, The 42nd Floor, was extremely impressive. She appears to have a slight hit a slight slump in as her new movies haven't been doing very well. I heard that Lois Crawford can be very picky. We're a very high quality hotel with history and tradition on our side. I don't think there'll be any issues if she comes. Uh, so there, there it is. Nobody can beat the level of services and staff at this hotel. We've won many prizes as well. Just one thing, you haven't heard the rumors about her, have you? The rumors. Take a look at this. This is, she's famous not only as a chef, but a gourmet. That's a blurb she's published in a travel magazine recently. It appears to be a description of her, of her travels, but it, it's just her bashing on the hotel she stayed at. Gloria Hotels are the best of the best, and yet she wrote such a scathing review. Bringing out the bad does make a person look more professional. Her writing is mostly like this. What do you suggest we do, Yoshi? See, now... I can only progress on certain dialogue options, so I'm going to pick a bunch of the wrong dialogue options to see, uh, you know, so we get there's the maximum amount of dialogue here. Decline reservation. How about we just refuse the reservation? You don't really need to take the customer out of purpose to try to hurt our reputation, do we? If we do that, she'll probably use an even more crafty way to get us. She'll send out messages saying we lack confidence, that we're thinking about who we accept, and so on. We'll take the reservation. But we also need to think of ways to satisfy her. I suppose you're right. Do you have any ideas, Yoshi? Uh, our hotel strengths are a long history and tradition, as well as our high quality service. The way we can satisfy her will involve making good use of these things. Did she reserve a suite? Yes, it's a suite. We we'll need a clean room and service to match her taste. We'll treat her as a VIP. I'll look into the drinks and amenities she prefers and the place and place them as I also check on the state of the rooms. About who will receive her? I suppose I'll have to do that. Thank you. There's no one who can handle such a tricky customer except you, with your long experience with many VIPs. I'm more tense than usual. And about the meals, we could offer her a buffet for breakfast, but we also need to get need to ready a dinner course. <coughs> the dinners are our hotel. Italian and French. Like in the in the beta, you could pick Japanese straight away, but we're gonna pick Italian and French straight away here. Italian. A hotel provides Italian food like a bistro, in an a la carte style. We also serve pasta or pizza and with a simple wine. The chef learned to cook in Nap Naples, Napales, and his margar margarita pizza was good, but it didn't really go well with the dinner course. We have fantastic French food at our hotel. The surprise and joy of the Dugong Hotel, with the Michelin-starred head chef at the helm. But you came here at the most inconvenient time. Our head chef is in France on a culinary research trip. The sous chef has taken his place for now. He cooks wonderfully as well. However, our customer is a very difficult one. Japanese. Dugong Hotel's Japanese food has never been its strong suit. We only served udon and simple bu don bu donburi. We have making exp exponential progress, however, after we hired Bancho. We've grown quite dramatically. Bancho is famous for his ability to re reinterpret the, and the use of ingredients. 
and his food was recently featured on an overseas magazine. He might be our dark horse. I mean, Japanese is likely our best choice. Pancho hasn't really proven himself yet, do you think it will be alright? Hmm, Pancho's skill is indisputable, however, one great drawback is that he doesn't consider the preferences of his customers. His sole focus is on letting people try new flavours. That's what drives his creativity, of course, but this time it won't really serve us. We're dealing with the infamous Lois Crawford after all. I see, that's a good point. However, I think it's best the best we can do right now is try and persuade Bancho. I agree, best of luck, Yoshi. Bancho, are you here? The young Bancho. Miss Yoshi, what are you doing here? Oh, you're here, that's good. I've come to check on the status of the manager's request. Look all you want, it's just an ordinary Japanese food kitchen. Bancho was a peculiar man, he suddenly appeared one day, handed us a resume, and explaining he'd learn, he'd be learn, he'd been, he'd been learning in Japan. All the sushi establishments listed on his res resume were top tier, but Bancho never stayed in one place for too long. He told me that he moved on each time after learning enough. The manager had a long talk with him and he left the operation of the Japanese food team to him. He could always be found in the kitchen, busy with sight, day in and day out. He researched food on his own when there were no customers. He hated to be interrupted. Were you practicing? Well, yes. Training means thousands and tens of thousands of attempts. Practice without rest is the only way to produce meaningful results. I see. I heard you never skip research and practice, Bancho. It relieves me to see you're so hard at work. What do you mean you're relieved? Bancho, would you be willing to try servicing a VIP? Servicing a VIP? VIP. That's right, we have an important guest who will increase our reputation, or rather, who might end up pl send it plummeting into the ground. Her name is Lois Crawford. She's an actress infamously hard to please, and also a gourmet reviewer. It's been about a year since you joined Dugong Hotel, our Japanese food team, which was never very strong, received much attention in a short span of time, and we can't deny that your contribu contribution to this was great. However, this means that we also get customers who want special treatment. So you mean to say I should try and please this picky woman, Lois Crawford? Yes, it's important as a Dugong ho Hotel's reputation lies in a balance. Hmm. What do you say? For me, cooking has always been a battle with myself, not with others. Making perfect food has always been my goal, and that won't change no matter who I cook for. I'll simply use the best ingredients available in the current season, and the most suitable recipe. Will that be okay with you? Alright, we'll leave the individual dishes in your hands, Bancho. However, I'd like to offer input on the method of servicing our guests. Alright, you're the expert, Miss Yoshi. Yoshi, when it comes to servicing food. Very good, now as for type of menu to employ, now, you have to click sushi here, so we're going to go with a kaizeki course. Kaizekai is a traditional Japanese dining method. And all this, uh, I kind of, foreign words are not my strong suit, guys. Os de ouvert. I probably butched that. Small dishes, sashimi, soup, grilled food, and steamed food are brought out in order to follow, in order followed by rice. It allows you to taste many kinds of food, and it's regarded as a quintessential Japanese, Japanese meal. What do you think of the ka Kaisakai course? It's traditional. Kaisakai is a form of art which utilizes many dishes to express a unified theme. That means using soup, grilled food, steamed food, and deep fried food to express a theme. Doing all that is impossible in this current kitchen. Hmm, alright. Since it seems to be a dinner, I think it'd be... I think a course would be better than a single dish. That means I'll probably have to employ a Western course format instead. Though it'd be a bit different from the traditional method, I think I could add soup and hoard of sashimi side dishes, sushi, tempura, and dessert to the course. What do you think? Not bad. So what do we make for each dish? There's a soup to begin with. A few minutes later. Yes, I think that will be fine up to the sushi. Tempura is next, I suppose shrimp would be the most logical choice. Hmm, it's difficult to create any impact with shrimp. We've kept everything pretty normal so far, so this is where we add a little spice. I've been researching this very topic, so how does something like this sound? You must have a good idea, let's hear it. Shark. I'm thinking of a dish that uses shark head. What, a shark? Can sharks be eaten? Sharks are very tasty fish. At this time of year, 
when they grow fat, boosting their flavour. The meat in their cheeks is particular, in particular has lovely chewy texture, which reminds you of both ordinary meat and fish. If a shark is too excited for an ingredient, can we use something a little bit more widely consumed? Especially considering this is lowest profit. Good food will impress anyone. Anyone who takes a bite will recognize the food for what it is. There is the best possible food that can be found around here in the current season. Uh, I'll, give you, I'll give it some thought. I'm not sure if it'll be okay. I can't help but think it's not a great idea, Bancho. Hmm. You serve that dish that I think, and things go sideways. The consequences won't affect you alone. Both the manager and I will also take part of the blame. After all, she's come to the Dugong Hotel, not to a restaurant operated by you. The hotel must seek to provide the most re restful and enjoyable experiences to its guests. Nothing can be allowed to mar that experience as a hotel will stand to lose by it. But there's no guarantee she'll hate it. She'll know from just taking just a bite that she's it's one of the greatest foods. It's, it's always an exception to the rule. She's an extremely picky person, after all. Well, pity, I understand. I'll go with shrimp tempura then, though I can't compare to shark. This way, Miss Crawford. Thank you. This is the chef who's preparing your food today, Bancho. Hmm, he's younger than I expected. I was hoping for a slightly more experienced chef. Hmm. Oh my, tight-lipped, are we? Perhaps my, my looks may have, lo may have you at a loss for words, eh? Uh, he's, he seems a little tense. He's still quite a skilled chef, I assure you. I'll be looking forward to the food, then. I remember the service of here being quite alright for an old hotel. I like the carpet and the paintings on the walls as well. Furnishings at the Glory Hotel have a kitsch quality to them that I do not like. But to think there's no gym, that's a bit of a shocker. I need to exercise, exercise daily to maintain my figure. It was our intention that you stay, your stay be as restful as possible. Everyone has their preferred way of resting. Well, the bathing facilities were good, so I'll content myself with that. So, what's for dinner? A Japanese course meal? Here's the course menu. First dishes are... I'll go through all these stuff. The steams. This is a gem. This is a steamed dish composed of grilled snapper and roe, which is taken steamed garnish for the ground yam. With, the, with ground yam, the soup features rich flavor of fish. Hmm. This is Japanese soup. It's got bland flavor coupled with a spicy scent. Quite interesting. This is a flavor of shish shish chim. I can't. I cannot pronounce that. Shichimi. There is a tiny bit of flavour provided by a, confident, a condiment made from seven different spices. And the next dish is... A few minutes later. So, the tempura, tempura and desserts are left. What's a tempura? Don't tell me it's shrimp. A sort of commonly served with rice. Sigh. The desserts... No doubt, usual fruit. I suppose I tasted basically everything. It's hard to decipher a reaction. Have we succeeded? How would you like it? Are you happy with our Japanese food? Well, it's about as good as I expected it to be, I suppose. I suppose I could come here to eat every now and then, but why bother coming to a hotel to eat food that's quite average? Uh, even so, I'm sure our food is better than most other restaurants. Snapper soup or sign, or uh, snapper soup or sign was pretty interesting, but that's it. It was just a fishy soup with spicy aftertaste. To think I added, to think you added sticky yam on top. Oh, I don't really like the texture. Oh dear, it seems like Japanese food isn't your liking. Ignorant of the fact we served you Japanese, my mistake. Please accept my apologies. Whatever, it wasn't that good, but it was healthy at least. The hotel doesn't have a gym, so I suppose the food should be healthy at the very least. Oh, may I have a word? Bancho, allow me to introduce myself again. I am the master chef who works here, Bancho. I'm not much of a speaker, but I've been, so I've been listening to you quietly. I find it impossible to maintain my silence now, however. Oh my, do you have something to tell me? Apparently you're supposed to have better food than, it, than anywhere else, right? Now, now, Bancho, Miss Lois here is just... It is most definitely my fault for failing to provide food that satisfies you. Will you not give me a chance to make up for my mistake? Oh, what? Well, oh gosh, I'm a very busy woman. What you've witnessed today aren't my real skills. I'll serve you food that can be objectively called good. Bancho, you can't be talking about... 
Hmm, so you're saying there's something else you, you think will satisfy me? Alright, I'll wait, but remember, my time is valuable. Your food had better be amazing. Bancho, you can't be thinking of... What is it, Miss Yoshi? Is there something I'm missing? All done. The, this is whole roasted shark head. Oh my god. This is... You fried the whole head? It's an amazing dish. The meat in the cheeks hasn't been cut out. I chose to fry the head whole to preserve the supple texture. You'll never taste something quite like this anywhere else. It has, it's a high quality dish made using the best possible ingredient. Get that out of my sight. How can you call this food? What do you say? Just take a bite. I guarantee you, you'll be transported to heaven. I'm not happy about this. Is this what service is like at the Dugong Hotel? It's my fault. I'll apologize. Now, Banjo Yoshi, you can apologize as well. I'm sorry, Miss Lewis. I should have been more vigilant. Looks are not all there is to food, so why do you even why do you refuse to even try it, Miss Lois? Mantra, now is not the time to... I find this highly unpleasant. Is this, some, is this some sort of hidden camera prank or punishment? You'll pay for treating me this way. Don't think I'll let you get away with this. I'm leaving. Cancel my suite. Charge me a cancellation fee if you wish. I don't care. After that, Banjo quit his job at the hotel and left saying he needed to trade. It was my belief it wasn't so much the cooking itself as the ingredients and cooking methods that he researched. Mm. I see. So I buy him a little for not giving up on the belief that he's still going on the right path. I suppose it is. this is the stuff inside of him that allowed him to attain his certain level of skill. Mm. Working with you now, he's even started social media. I feel something's changed about it and I like him. Like I feel something's changed about him and I like it. Yeah. Messed up the line. I think you're good for him. Please continue to get along. I'll do my best to help Bancho focus on his cooking. So yeah, we missed a whole dive and a whole restaurant service there, so uh, that's kind of a bit lame, but... So the picture you took was well received. Oh, great to hear that. I hear my, su my superiors want to assign me to another task. Uh -huh. By bringing the picture as nice as the previous ones, I'll have an offer for you. Do you want to join me and take a picture of the standard test of time? What are you planning to take a picture of? Do you know man arrays? Of course, they're one of the largest of their kind. I've seen one of those Jessica Kleecher's first hand. Good, I'm planning to take a picture of them. What do you think? Alright, I'm sold. But, but, they are nocturnal, so we need to move at night. And we need a lure to attract them. So, will I find, I will prefer my equipment. Could you find a lure in the meantime? Uh, I don't know what man arrays feed on. I'm sure you'll figure it out in no time. I'll count on you then. Tell me when you got the lure. Mm -hmm. mm. What should I mount raise feed on? Mm -hmm. Ellie would be best when it comes to ecology. I should give her a call. Mm -hmm. Oh, Dave, you weren't around yesterday, so I was a bit worried. I couldn't get in touch with you via radio either. Mm -hmm. I was at the CP for Village yesterday. You what? What happened? Mm -hmm. Well, you see... Mm -hmm. I see, I envy you, I do. What a lucky experience. I'm not sure how I can help, but it's clear they have problems to deal with. Why don't you go talk to the residents first? I'd love to go as well, but as you said, only one person can use the CP mirror. What a pity. Ah, what an unexpected turn of events. Need any of my tools? Don't forget to check out the Cobra Shop. Yes, I will have to use the Sea People Mirror first to visit their village. Right. Yeah, you can use the mirror to get to the thing. <laughs> Dave, the fish in the farm yesterday, they've multiplied. Hurry over to the fish farm. Um. Mark the sections of a new fish with hearts that are easy to recognize. Go see for yourself. Well, the mysteries of nature has never ceased to amaze me. I'll tell you once the eggs hatch. I'll mark them with hearts for fish have multiplied. Speaking of eggs, I'm riding my son, who I haven't seen in a long time. Yeah, the sun? Yeah, it was a windy and rainy day. I went far out, too far out on my ship, and a storm flipped over my ship. I haven't been able to go back to see my son since. Well, I didn't know that. Alright, I'll come back often by to check. Thank you, Otto. I feel, a lot, I feel much less pressure to catch fish. 
There are two more of the same kind of fish, so baby fish can be born. Alright, let's see. So what we got here? Well, we're going to get rid of these because these are like the most useless fish possible. We're going to keep those. And we'll keep the shrimp for now. What's in here? Yeah, we'll keep that for now. Perfect. Here's a clear one like you asked. It's so beautiful, thank you, Dave. And I found this. Huh? Is this a photo of me? There was a huge clear one, I found this in its home. There's a button on the back. Try I'll try pressing it. Mackie, it's your father. If you're watching this, then I probably failed my expedition. I couldn't really take care of you in my busy schedule. My grief for more work has turned me into an irresponsible father. You haven't been able to make many friends because you we kept moving around because of my work. Even so, I want you to forgive me for being such a terrible father and live a confident life. And your dream of becoming a chef, I hope it comes true. I'll keep watching you from afar, so don't ever lose your smile. Uh, it seems so cut off. Don't be too upset. It seems your father really loves you, Mackie. Please let me work here. What, so suddenly? Yes, my father wouldn't want to see me so lethargic and sad. I want to show him that I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine and working hard. As you show concern for me and help me, I'd like to help you as well. Um, Bancho, what do you think? Hmm. What a spirited child. I like her. You can start working here today, but don't. You won't be getting any special treatment. Yes, okay. I'll work hard to learn and become an amazing chef. Mackie has joined Banjo Sushi as staff. There's some boss dishes. Now, in theory, I should actually sell these uh, because um, they are actually worth quite a bit of money, like cash injection. See, on my main save, I didn't, so I could have them still sat in my menu, but. I feel like since I'm doing like the since I'm doing the month like the like the what 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 do I what do I call this uh, the good playthrough I don't know uh, right we'll enhance that. Okay, now we're going to need a lot of salt, I reckon. Let's see, what do we got here? Ah, I didn't get to, I didn't get to keep my seahorses. They always went into seahorse skewers. Yes, both of these need salt as well, actually, so... Yeah, I really do need to salt. I'm only going to sell one of these at a time. 
So the fact is, for the ingredients like listed here, you're, you're getting a lot of um, money from it. But you know, that's like 5,500 right there, so... No, nothing on my menu really competes with that at the moment. Like, you know, this is the closest competing thing, and even then it's like, well, it's kind of not really a competition. We also offer deep sea fish. Please come by. Already drunk? How embarrassing. I see so people hard at work so late. Alright, so gold is alright. Alright, we're, we're on we're on track for that. Deliver a purple starfish. We'll deliver these seashells. Uh, of course. Of course this happens to happen. Like, ah yes. This time get 20 seashells and 15 pink seashells. It's like... Can, can we just not? Can, can, can we just, um, um, chill on the seashells, please? No? Okay. Screw, screw me, I guess. Alright, yeah. Right, next is probably going to ask me to, like, do some crazy stuff with starfish. I'm like, uh, well, uh, fine. Whatever. Like... Dave the Seashell Collector. See, there's all these different seahorses to collect, like... Really, I should actually work on a Marinka, but again, that might be a later on thing. Right, yes, yeah, so I actually can afford to get that now. I can also afford to get that. So I'm on track with that. I can afford to get that. And that I'm still looking for parts for. But hey, that's actually progress. As you can see, yeah, my holiday days here were quite close together, like, because of all this ridiculous stuff going on. Like, you know, I started there. And yeah, nah, so... It's going alright, I'd say. I guess we have to make a phone call to Ellie real quick, because we should. Oh, how's it going? Do you know what manta rays feed on? Hmm. I know what manta rays eat. Oh, really? They feed on plankton at night. Drop some lures glow on plankton at night, and they, and they will come. And you'll need five kelp to lure plankton. Oh, it's made of kelp. Not necessarily, but they do work too. Just bring me some. Right, so I collected the kelp. What now? Oh, you got it? Now input this here. Who? I got some eco points. Hey, this has got nothing to do with the lure. Well, don't be disappointed yet. Did I the lure capsule? No. Oh. Just drop this lure and it'll lure all plankton in the area. It's made of quality ingredients. Goodbye then. Got the lure now. I must tell Udo about it. This must be the lure for manta rays. My mouth is watering. I'm kidding. Anyway, I need to be prepared to take this picture at night. I will call you when I'm ready. All 
Right. I suppose we'll call it there on that part, even though I only did one dive. That was a lot of reading. You know, had I really thought about it and remembered that part, I would have spent the entire, like, morning dive just messing around, like, collecting some stuff, and then, like, the afternoon dive collecting more stuff. And then, do and then doing it in the afternoon, so, like, uh, instead of it skipping the afternoon dive, I actually got an afternoon dive. But, you know... It is what it is, and being honest, I'm kind of like ahead on resources right now anyway, so. We're not. Uh, I wouldn't say ahead, but. No, I'm doing well on resources, I think, so it's not exactly like I'm particularly worried. But yeah, now, nah, like that's. You always check the Clover Shop as well. Okay, no, nothing that I really care about. I, mean, I could sell the pearl and the gold bar, but they're not really worth much. And at the same time, it's like, well, you know, on this save file, I kind of want to keep them. But yeah, anyway. That's about it for this part. Hope you all have a good day.